So I finally got around to seeing the movie that has gotten everyone's flippers so out of joint it has caused waves for months and I finally got to see The Little Mermaid today and I'm here to answer the big question. Was this movie good enough to stand strong on its own two legs or did it flounder? So going to The Little Mermaid, I'll be honest, I thought it was okay. I enjoyed it to a degree. It's just a fun movie to go see mainly if you're a kid. Or if you have kids, they'll definitely have more enjoyment out of it than an adult would probably. I will say that there were some good things going for it, but there were a lot of things in there that were pretty disappointing. But I'll get to those at the end of this video, so stick around for those if you want to hear what they are. The things I like the most about this movie, Holly Bailey's voice is incredibly powerful and beautiful, and she definitely did Ariel justice when it came to her singing voice. She did an amazing job as Ariel. She's an inspiration to so many kids out there who love The Little Mermaid, who love Ariel. From the beginning, when I saw the trailers, I knew that Melissa McCarthy's portrayal of Ursula was going to be amazing. In my opinion, Ursula was one of the best parts of the movie. Melissa McCarthy is just an incredibly talented actress. She just embodies every character that she has, and she's super funny. I know it's hard to compete with Pat Carroll's version, but Melissa McCarthy definitely did her very best. I also like the fact that in this version, Triton and Ursula are sister and brother. In the animated version, they are not, contrary to many people believing that they are. It adds so much more to the story when you have Ursula and Triton being brother and sister because it just makes it so much more personal when Ursula takes Ariel away from Triton. Trident and uses her to get to Trident so I really love the family drama aspect. Overall I would say the CGI in this movie is pretty decent. The underwater scenes they're really really beautiful. Lots of color, lots of creatures. They put a lot of money into making sure that all the underwater scenes looked as good as they possibly could make them. So now for the things that really disappointed me in this movie. I did not like the character design for Flounder and Sebastian at all. They both look nightmarish. I understand that it was more realistic looking creatures in this one, but even still, I felt like they could still make them more friendlier looking, a little more animated, cartoony looking. I have no problem with the casting choices done in this movie, but when you start touching songs, especially songs that were all classics, I have a problem with that. They changed the lyrics for Poor Unfortunate Souls and they changed the lyrics for Kiss the Girl to make it more modern. But I feel like the changes they made in Poor Unfortunate Souls took away all of the power and the punch that Ursula has. She's a massive manipulator. But they took all that out to make it more modern and more Disneyfied. The song performances in this movie were not the greatest. Outside of Holly Bailey's Ariel, all the songs performed by Sebastian were pretty weak. It just looks so much better in the animated version, so much more going on, and they tried that in a few of the songs. It just kind of fell flat. I was just disappointed by the lack of how some of the shots looked, but Overall, I would say that this is a fun movie to take your kids with, so I highly encourage you to check out The Little Mermaid. If you have a kid or kids who are just begging you to go see The Little Mermaid, I will go ahead and do it because I think they're really going to love it. So for The Little Mermaid, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10 mud flaps. And as always, remember to leave me a thumbs up and drop in the comments below who's your favorite character from The Little Mermaid. See you next time.